space is silent, but it is never still. From the void, two wanderers ignite the darkness, Three-Eye Atlas, a trespasser from beyond the stars, and Comet Swan, a ghostly giant trailing emerald fire. Their paths, born light years apart, now curve toward one another with uncanny precision. This is no crash course. This is a meeting, strange, fated, and fleeting, deep within the sun's domain. July 2025 A flash of data from the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, sets the astronomy world buzzing. A small, fast-moving object streaks across the void between Jupiter and Mars. But this is no ordinary comet, the numbers scream hyperbolic trajectory, a speed so great the Sun itself cannot hold it. This object is a visitor from another star system, only the third interstellar body ever detected, after the legendary Oumuamua and Comet Borisov. It is named 3 Eye Atlas, and from the beginning, it breaks every rule in the book. And, as scientists scramble to understand this alien traveler, a second, even more spectacular visitor begins to emerge from the sun's glare. September 2025 Amateur astronomers poring over images from NASA's SOHO spacecraft notice something unusual. A new comet has slipped into view, one so bright it almost outshines the instruments designed to catch it. This is Comet Swan, officially designated C2025R2. It's not new at all, it's ancient, a long-period comet that hasn't visited the inner solar system in thousands of years. Its tail is a staggering spectacle, more than five times the width of the full moon, a glowing emerald ribbon stretched across the heavens. For sky watchers, it's a dazzling display. For astronomers, it's a reminder that comets can be colossal, volatile and unpredictable. But here's where everything twists. These two objects, Atlas and Swan, are now on paths that bring them terrifyingly close together. By late October 2025, orbital models show something almost unbelievable. Atlas and Swan will both reach perihelion, their closest point to the Sun, within days of each other. From Earth, it looks as though they are converging on nearly identical paths, set to pass within just 31 million miles of each other. In cosmic terms, that's a whisper. In scientific terms, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And it raises one big question. What happens when two completely different types of cosmic bodies brush past each other so close to the Sun? Most comets are fragile snowballs, ancient rubble bound by frozen water, dust and rock. They ignite when sunlight strikes, the ice sublimating into gas, releasing a coma and tail that blaze across the sky. Predictable, understandable, but Atlas refuses to play by those rules. It's something else entirely. It flared to life far beyond Jupiter, in a region so cold and dark that ordinary comets lie dormant. There was no reason for it to glow, yet Atlas did, shining as if lit from within. Then came the tail. A comet's tail should always stream away from the sun, shaped by solar wind. Atlas's tail, at times, twisted backward, pointing toward the sun, as though mocking the very physics that governs every other comet we know. Spectroscopic readings deepen the mystery. Instead of water ice, its coma was dominated by carbon dioxide. That alone is rare, but stranger still, embedded within its spectral fingerprint were traces of pure nickel utterly devoid of iron. According to the chemistry of stars and planets, nickel should never appear alone. Iron always accompanies it. And yet, Atlas carried nickel in its purest form, an impossibility written into the night. To astronomers, Atlas is no ordinary comet. It's a cosmic anomaly, a renegade traveler rewriting the textbooks as it races through the solar system. And just as they begin to untangle its secrets, another force arrives on the stage, one no less mysterious, no less challenging, Comet Swan. Swan may not be interstellar, but it's no less impressive. Its immense coma glows green from diatomic carbon, and its massive tail extends across the skies of the Southern Hemisphere. Unlike Atlas, Swan is familiar in its chemistry but extraordinary in its scale and brightness. It is a heavyweight comet, carrying enormous gravitational influence. 
And that influence matters, because when it comes within proximity of Atlas, even 31 million miles apart, the two could tug on each other in a subtle but profound gravitational dance. And that's where this encounter becomes more than coincidence. It becomes a potential turning point in our understanding of interstellar visitors. When two comets pass near one another, they don't collide to leave scars. Gravity does the work. It can tug at their fragile bodies, crack off fragments, or subtly warp their orbits, changes that ripple across centuries. Now, picture this encounter. On one side, Atlas, an interstellar stranger with alien chemistry, moving too fast for the sun to ever claim. On the other, Swan, a colossal ancient wanderer, bound to return only once every thousand years. If their paths edge close, Atlas could be nudged into a new course, slicing deeper through our solar system. Or Swan's epic cycle could shift, its return shortened or stretched even further into the future. But the real intrigue isn't in where they'll go next, it's in what they're made of and what their brief, improbable meeting might whisper about the origins of life itself. Astronomers often call comets time capsules. They preserve the raw materials of planetary formation, pristine ice and dust billions of years old. Interstellar comets like Atlas are even more precious. They're fragments of alien solar systems forged around distant stars and then flung into the galaxy by gravitational chaos. To study Atlas is to hold a piece of another world. To compare it with Swan, side by side, is to glimpse two different stories of cosmic origin, our own and that of a stranger. And it's this comparison that excites scientists, because it could hold clues to one of the most profound questions we've ever asked. How does life begin? The theory of panspermia suggests that life's building blocks may not be confined to one planet or even one solar system. Instead, comets and interstellar bodies may carry amino acids, carbon compounds, and organic molecules across the galaxy, seeding worlds wherever they fall. If Atlas truly does carry alien chemistry, and Swan represents the primordial chemistry of our own system, then their near interaction may reveal whether these bodies are linked by shared ingredients or whether alien systems produce entirely different recipes for life. And while the science unfolds, something else is happening back on Earth. The spectacle of Swan's approach may be visible in our skies in ways we haven't seen for generations. In early October, Earth itself crosses Swan's orbital path. If the comet has shed debris along its multi-thousand-year journey, those fragments could rain down on our atmosphere. The result? A meteor storm unlike anything recorded in modern history. Brilliant fireballs streaking across continents, reminding us of the power and beauty of these celestial giants. But even as we gaze upward, the real drama is unfolding out of sight, hidden behind the sun. From late October, both Atlas and Swan vanish from Earth's view, swallowed by the sun's glare. For weeks, telescopes on Earth will be blind. Only spacecraft like the Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter, strategically positioned, will capture glimpses of Atlas as it passes within 17 million miles of Mars. It's like watching the most important cosmic performance of our lifetime, only to have the lights turned off just as the show begins. And when they re-emerge from behind the sun, astronomers will be waiting to see what, if anything, has changed. In less than a decade, three mysterious visitors have entered our skies. First, Oumuamua in 2017, then Comet Borisov in 2019, and now Atlas in 2025. And just as Atlas arrives, Swan emerges too, burning emerald across the heavens. Is this nothing more than chance? Are we witnessing the beginning of a larger pattern? An increase in interstellar traffic unfolding at the very moment humanity sharpens its gaze on the cosmos? Some astronomers speculate further. For nearly a century, Earth has been sending signals into the void. Radio, radar, television, our technological heartbeat leaking into space. Could these sudden appearances be a kind of response, not in language, but in presence? Cosmic visitors arriving as if to remind us, you are not alone in the dark. Whether coincidence or communication, the convergence of Swan and Atlas forces us to confront an unsettling truth. We know almost nothing about the hidden highways that thread across our galaxy. 
Two travellers, one from the frozen edges of our system, one from the stars beyond. Their paths nearly crossed, not in collision, but in science, close enough to raise questions, close enough to remind us that the universe is built on chance encounters. Comet Swan and Three Eye Atlas will drift past behind the sun's glare, unseen by human eyes. Yet, their story lingers here on Earth, reshaping how we think about comets, interstellar visitors, and the fragile origins of life. In the vast dark, fate doesn't always speak with fire. It whispers through wanderers passing in the night. Keep watching the skies, stay curious, and if this glimpse into the cosmos moved you, like, share, and subscribe, because the universe is only beginning to tell its story.